Hello YouTubers, Brian Proctor back again and I thought I'd do something a little different today. There are a lot of animal lovers out there so I thought I would draw a dog for you guys, teach you how to draw step by step, a boxer in particular. So let's get started with this, step by step. All right, first off, you want to use a pencil because you're going to do some erasing because this is going to be rough. And if this is your first time, you're going to do a lot of erasing. So you want to do a box. Nothing to do with being a boxer, but we're going to, we're going to use shapes first. So always use shapes when you draw. So make more of a rectangle type. About, let's say about that big. And then let's say the center of it. We're going to go up later. Draw a line. That's going to represent where his eyes are. And we're going to go right down the middle with that. So from there, let us cut these off right here on the edge. That's where his ears are going to go. Okay, and from there, let's, let's start with the eyes because he has a lot of wrinkles in there. Let's put an eye here. About right there and put the other one right about there. Now, once you get this, you can always adjust it, which we will. Now, that uh, a boxer has a lot of wrinkles. So let's go down, I would say, about here. And let's just do this like a V, just, just here for now. These are just guidelines. So usually boxer has that line here and he will have some wrinkles. Let's just say, let's just do a couple of wrinkles like that, almost like a bowling pin or something like that. And then we'll do another one that kind of mimics the first one like that. They have a lot of wrinkles and then around the eye as well. Now let's take one and put it around here and it's going to come down around the eye. We'll do the same thing around there. Now let's do the eye a little bit. The eye is going to curve. It's almost like the shape of a human eye but just a little different. It's going to curve around at the top and then dip down at the bottom. Same thing. Curve around into a point and then dip down at the bottom. And then you see his eyes are in there. I didn't make it all the way down because you still see some meat, some flesh right here. And then there's gonna be a light source. Let's just put a light source right here. A light source is because you, the eye is wet and it's reflecting the light. So, and let's put a black spot here, right there. Now, We'll come around with it. Let's do a wrinkle around here and bring it down. Another wrinkle, same way around there and bring it down like that. Now let's work on the nose. So we have this and this is going to determine where his nose is and we're going to come down. It's like almost like a box or a house. I'm trying to, to, to show you guys easy shapes. It's like if you draw a house house regular house like that like so and then bring this line straight down now we're gonna put a nose on him say about right here so what you want to do is let's draw another rectangle about so big now the shape of a boxer's nose is kind of like uh, drawing a T so if you can follow me on this you're gonna go up and in and around, up, in, down and around like that. And it curves here. So if you look at it, it's kind of like drawing a T and it's, it has this line that comes down through the middle like that. Now this line continues to come around to his, his mouth or muzzle. And then you want to make a U, let's say uh, stop it about you don't want it too long too far down so I'll say let's stop it right here and then just do like a U shape upside down U shape a curve 
because he has jaws that hangs down. And then let's curve it here. We'll bring this out a little bit more and curve it in. See, this one comes down, so let's bring it out just a little bit more, like so. And then his mouth fits under here. And his mouth, let's just say almost like another U shape, upside down. Curve. Let's so put it fat here. It's a bulge here and a bulge there. And then we can get rid of this. Like that. And he's starting to take shape. So let's curve this around a little bit. Like that. And let's give him some wrinkles here. And then now for here, let's bring this down to this point and let's bring it in. From here, and let's bring it in like so. Now coming up, his wrinkly head, we'll give him some more wrinkles coming out. And then another one here, and another one there. They boxers take all kind of different forms of wrinkles and let us because he has wrinkles let's go above them and just make a few lumps because of the wrinkles just like that and curve around and then the ear the ear the ears are if you would imagine the ear being like that his ears fall over so what you want to do is curve around you make a line on here, over here. Remember, you're curving around. You're making a line, and then you're curving back like that. And that's basically what a boxer's or a dog's ears does. So here's, we'll do that, but I'll make this a little bit thicker. So we want to come up and curve around. And because his ears are, and I, I may end up moving his ears up a little bit higher. This is kind of in my way. So I want the bottom, top, and then it's going to curve around, down, like so. And back across. Like that. And here's your bottom. Same thing on this side. Come up. The bottom, this is, the bottom is showing because just like in here, you'll see the bottom or the inside of the ear. So to come up and across, let's do this one, come up and down. This will come across. Like that. And I'll bring this closer to make that ear a little bigger. And then, because he's got a flat head, oh, let's round his head off a little bit. Let's just round it off just a little bit keep those wrinkles this is why you use a pencil keep those wrinkles there bring these wrinkles up more to his head and really erase some of that and looking back let's see under his eyes he has he would have wrinkles too that will come down he's just a very wrinkly dog and then this I'm looking at it we step back and look at it let's erase a few lines Let's bring his nose up and out a little bit more. And a lot of times when I draw, I'll get to a certain point and then I'll stop. And then I'll walk away, go have a sandwich or something, and I'll come back and I'll be able to see it, the picture a little more clear. Let's give him a little extra little wrinkle up under the mouth. And this is the detail part. And then some of them have the bottom lip. That comes out and then from there we just kind of see it and we shape it up a little bit more so let's shape this let's bring this in a little bit more and get rid of that bring that in a little bit more and most boxers uh, have the eye color and that would be that would be done in color if you color it it's kind of like they have a, uh, a dark, what do you call it? eyebrow over them, or you could color it. And then we'll just add a little line under there, 
and line under there. And let's give him a little bit, bit of a neck. Let's chop his neck off like that. And then let's work on the nose a little bit more. Let's spread his nose out a little bit more to make it a little bigger. A little more rounder. And then some more wrinkles. And even put a wrinkle up here. It's a very wrinkly dog. Like so. And there, the thick neck boxer you have. Let's erase this. And let's ink this just so that you can see some of the lines that we're going to keep. Okay, so we're going to do his wrinkles. Got to have his wrinkles. one over the eye and the one around like that. Now let's work on the eye. Curve around and out a little bit and then just below the eye and then we'll put the eye here. here. Now, the light source, the dark part, let's color that just for now. And then the nose, come down. bottom lip. Almost like he's pouting. And then we work on the face a little bit. The shape of the head. It's out. Around. And then we'll do the ear. Comes up. And I'll do the top part of the ear as well. There, go to the head, the ear, and then this would be shadow. Here comes down here, and the nose. Well, actually, the nose could be a little bigger. But I'll leave it as is, pretty much, for now. Maybe that's like a T. And then you have his little muzzle wrinkles. And I guess it depends on how old the dog is, depending on how many wrinkles he might have. And then we get the neck. He's got a big thick neck. I have to turn my page for this one. And so now let's let's work on this eye a little bit. So because the top rim of that eye that's going to be black, and then this is going to be black as well. We you leave some some light right here, but for the most part. It's gonna be black. 
Same thing over here. Add two and under. Give some light. And a lot of times you have black down here in his eye, but I don't wanna I don't wanna put that there. Let's just say if you color it. Black under here. Oops. Slow down, Brian. Slow down. So the muzzle would usually be black, and the face is brown, and there's black here, usually like over the eye. And let's just do this just because. Other side. You can't forget about these other wrinkles on top of his head. And then this would be in shadow. Let's get the big brush. side as well and like that and then you have pretty much your boxer dark on the ears depending on the color that you have your dog and of course, as I said, this would all be black here. And that's just, just because. And then you have your sad looking boxer because they are sad looking, especially when they do something wrong. They give you that sad looking face. And let's erase the lines. And then we will be done. There you are. And just because I'm a creative artist, before we go, let's do this. What's a dog, a sad dog without sad eyes? And you can color it once you finish, you know, color whatever color you want to color. But just me, I just, I don't really like leaving pictures 100% completely undone. This one will be, but just because I love YouTube. And doing it like that. And you can go on and on and on. But I just wanted to show you guys quick steps to do a dog, especially a boxer. So, okay, that's it, guys. I might do some more animals. If you like that, I'm give me a thumbs up. Let me know to do some more animals. I'm a cat lover. I said that in another video. I guess maybe I'll do a cat next time or eventually. So, but that's it, guys. Follow those steps, and you'll be having you. You'll be having you. You'll be able to do your dogs. All right, that's it. I'm out. Bye.